Here's the 0-2 from Charest. Breaking ball, swung on and missed, strike three. Phelan will make the throw to Mori at first base at the corners two away. Charest looks in. Here's the 0-2. It's another breaking ball, and it's over the inside corner. Last ball, the 2-1, squaring to Bunt is the right-handed batter. He drops it down, charging his Charest. He picks it up, and now he has Smith caught in a pickle between third and home. He runs him back to third and flips it to Cianci in time for the second out of the inning. It's a one nothing lead. Pitch on the way. That one slashed toward the middle and through for a base hit. On his way toward third is McGinney. He's going to try and score. The throw comes homeward. It's cut off by the first baseman, and it's an RBI single for Steve McSherry. Fordham takes a 2-0 lead here in the fourth. His first RBI of the afternoon. Fordham now has a 2-0 lead. Pitch. Runner from second goes. Kanaki swings and slashes it up the middle. It rolls all the way towards Smith, the center fielder. Around from second to score. Third run of the afternoon is Mike Morey. Mike's one out, 3-0 Fordham in the seventh. Righty on lefty. Big looping curveball, a swing and a miss. Strike three. Punch out number eight for Joey Charest. April 1st against St. Bonaventure. The pitch is grounded to its shortstop. This could be two. Six, four, three. There it is. Game number one is over. The complete game for Joe Charest. As he gives up one run on eight hits, the final score. Fordham three, LaSalle one. Showing bunt is Garcia, and he gets it down, and it's caught by Phelan behind the plate, and they rule it out. What a play by Ryan Phelan to hop off his feet. Anastasi comes at the runner is off, pitches in the dirt. Nice pick by Phelan. Throw down the second base is high. But they say the tag is there on the helmet. Go ahead, run on third, top of the eighth pitch. That one's pounded into the ground, charging at the shortstop McGinney. The runner's going to try and score, and Corin Blatt is thrown out at home plate. It's one and one. Adel from the wind, fires. That one's nubbed toward the shortstop, charging McGinney. Gloves on the run. He throws, and he gets his man. Final out of the ninth. Runner on first, two outs, pitch. That one's ripped toward left. McSherry going back. It's going to be over his head. One hop, it's off the wall. Hitting second is Clem. He's headed for third. Are they going to wave him in? Yes, they will. It's cut off by McGinney. Here comes the throw to the plate. Phelan makes the catch. Tags him out at the plate. Is Clem. He dove toward the inside portion of the plate, toward the infield side of home plate, and he's thrown out. We're here with junior Jeremy Adel following the Rams doubleheader split with LaSalle on Saturday. Jeremy, you guys pick up another 8-10 series win. A little bit disappointing with the extra inning loss there in the series finale. But talk about the day as a whole and getting another 8-10 series win. Well, it's huge because it puts us right, you know, in the top six for the playoff race. And that's what it's all about. And, uh, you know, it gets us one step closer to, to be able to play at the 8-10 tournament that we're hosting. So, uh, you know, we have three big weekends left with Xavier, Rhode Island, and uh, Richmond. And uh, hopefully, you know, we can take two out of three again uh, against Xavier next weekend. Pretty self pitch for uh, scoreless innings of relief there. Talk about a, a little bit of the relief pressure again. One one ball game, extra innings. You know, talk about how you're able to get through inning by inning and post another zero there. Well, I mean, you, just, you really kind of block out like the whole pressure thing. Uh, you just go out there, you trust yourself, you throw strikes. You know, you've been working. You know. We've like been working ever since the summer for this, so you know, we got a lot of preparation and hard work that goes into you know, what we do out on the field. And uh, just trust myself, and I trust my defense. They played phenomenal today, especially you know, that McSherry play, McSherry to McGinney, the failing in the, uh, I guess, bottom of the 11th inning. That was huge. You know, we, you know, we, all around today, was, this whole weekend was a great weekend offensively, defensively, and especially pitching with you know, Shrest and uh, Monday going to complete games. It's all around great weekend for us. Away from the field, you guys were raising funds all weekend for the Wounded Warrior Project. They end up raising over $4,000 for the Wounded Warrior Project. What does that mean for the team uh, as a whole? Oh, well, I mean, it's huge. I mean, we anytime we get a chance to give back to the you know the soldiers who put their life on the line for us day in and day out is it's just it's an honor to do. And you know, you know, I, I wish we can do it every weekend to be honest with you because you know the soldiers are the most heroic people you know that we have in America, and uh, we're just so thankful for what they do for us day in and day out. Great. Thanks a lot, Jeremy. Thank you. We're here with junior Mike Morey following the Rams doubleheader split against LaSalle on Saturday. Mike, you guys come away with another 8-10 series win here at home. A little disappointing with the 12-inning loss there in the series finale. Talk about the day as a whole because obviously with a doubleheader, it's always a long day. Yeah, long day. Uh, first game, you know, we were looking to just take one, one or two this weekend. But, uh, you know, first game, Joey went nine, went strong. Um, we played defense and we hit the ball. So that was a big win. The second game, you know, it was one of Long game. Somebody had to win. Somebody had to lose. Uh, you know they got the clutch hit. We didn't. So that's what happened. 
get yourself out to uh, now a career high eight game hitting streak have a big weekend collect seven hits over the weekend what have you seen over the last couple weeks to really get you going and and vault you up to the you know top of the batting uh, batting leaders on team I mean I didn't know those stats but uh, you know honestly we haven't been hitting great I'm just trying to do what I got to do you know I'm not trying to do too much I'm seeing the ball well so I'm just trying to hit it up the middle and a lot of my hips have been up the middle but uh, you know, I'm just not trying to do too much. Just staying up the middle, that's about it. Teams at 9-6 and six in conference play three big series against yeah. three of the other contenders in the league. Next week at Xavier, then you got Rhode Island at home, and then at Richmond. What does the team have to do to, going into those three series, you know, to come away that you guys are playing that last weekend in May? Yeah. Uh, I think, you know, we got the pitching. I think we got the pitching for it. We got to play good defense. You know, our defense is, uh, you know, so-so. But uh, as of late, we've been playing good defense, so we got to hit, man. We can't have 10 hits in 13 innings and expect to win the game. We can't put up three runs and expect to win a game. You know, we got to put up five to seven runs, you know. But, uh, you know, coming the next three weekends, if we can get our guys to pitch well, I think we'll be in good shape. All right, thanks a lot, Mike. Congratulations. Thanks a lot.